When I saw, with some trepidation, that that cinematic home of mediocrity, Illumination, had released another film upon my poor blighted nation, I decided that it was time to do another review in rhyme. At the time I might have been in the pub with my partner in crime. Today, The Secret Life of Pets 2, Pet Harder I'll review, because frankly there's nothing else to do. Except watch the Cricket World Cup, and even I'm not that hard up. Seriously though, for those playing Illumination Movie Bingo, you'll hit a full card and go, Eureka! I've wasted 86 minutes of my life when I could've been writing poetry about my wife. Or watching Dumbo, The Nightmare Before Christmas, or Toy Story, infinitely better films from the animation category, because, as usual, what else is there to say? For professional voice actors, this studio won't pay. For them, countless celebrities are the order of the day, the animation's solid, although being CGI, it'll look dated before this film's on DVD to buy. And if I didn't know better, I'd swear this film was three episodes edited together, of some TV show that I'd watch never. <laughs> An 86 minute film should not have three stories, especially when they come from three different categories and don't even really tie together, even at the end, which is the kind of thing that sends me around the bend. I don't mind a subplot here or there, it, even in a kids movie, that's only fair. It keeps my nephew distracted and quiet, but it makes me want to start a riot. Even IMDB doesn't know what to say. Continuing the story of Max and his pet friends following their secret lives after owners leave them for work or school each day. It sounds like a pitch of a story outline, not the story of something that's already leaked online. Allegedly, I wouldn't know. Pirating films online doesn't help cinema grow, but each of these plots alone could have been an interesting flick, but all mashed together they're all very anemic. Fairly generic as well, no moment stands out, because with no time to breathe each story exists in plot drought. Hell, it was 20 minutes before the plot turned up. And just when I was wondering if it had been locked away, I've seen higher stakes in a game of croquet. In two of the three stories anyway, there might have been in the third were it given time to go the whole way, but one third of an 86 minute runtime allows no time to breathe, so honestly, I think you should leave this glorified toy commercial to be found online because whilst as a film it's perfectly fine, there's nothing more to be said and these rhymes are hurting my head. It's yet another film from Illumination, whose relationship with trying isn't even a flirtation. It's just a few weeks until Toy Story 4. Even though another pointless sequel, it won't be a bore. It'll have characters, light, stakes and fun galore. Everything missing from this cinematic bore. But it's bright and maybe a few moments are okay, so if you're desperate one rainy day, then Toy Story with dogs will have to do. Just lower your standards and prepare for a sleep, because doing anything else will just make you weep. So I guess what I'm trying to say guys is yet again, if nothing else is out for whatever reason you don't want to go and see Godzilla, which you should, check this out. Otherwise, just don't bother. But what did you guys think? And what is your favourite what things get up to when we're not looking film? Because I guess that's a mini genre now. Comment below, let me know. I'm Daniel, it's been a donkey. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe.